Hi class, a pleasant day to all of you. This is your Professor Dan. And in this lecture video, we are going to discuss the continuation of module on retained earnings and dividends. And the topic is illustrate the computation of the book value per share. And our lesson is distribution of retained earnings to determine the book value per share. So let us start the discussion. So here, class, we are going to use the uh, given formation uh, from previous uh, lecture video, which is the company has the following selected accounts in its shareholders' equity, 12% preference shares, 100 par authorized 4,000 shares, 2,000 shares issued and outstanding. Okay, so you have 200,000. We have already uh, discussed how it was computed, 100 par times 2,000 shares. And ordinary shares, 100 par, authorized 6,000 shares, and 3,000 shares issued in outstanding, so that's 300,000. And the retained earnings is 260,000, so our uh, requirement is this, compute the book value per share based on different terms of preferred shares. So we will be using the different types of preferred shares. So case one, we have non-cumulative, non-participating, what would be the book value per share based on that. Then case two, we have non-cumulative, participating, so we will compute the book value. And then case three, cumulative, non-participating, and case for cumulative participating, okay. Class, in this, the intention is we will distribute the retained earnings of 260,000 to preference shares and to ordinary shares based on these terms of preferred shares, okay? So after that, we will now be able to compute the book value per share. Class, there are no uh, information on the dividend declaration. What we are just computing is the book value per share, okay? Because this 260,000, okay, this is for all the shares. Now we have to determine if you are holding a preferred shares, how much is the book value of that preferred shares, okay? And if you are holding an ordinary shares, how much is the book value of ordinary shares if the company has this 260,000 retained earnings? And these are the different types of preferred shares. So let us start the discussion. So case one, non-cumulative, non-participating. So here class, we have to get the basic information, the par value, the outstanding shares. And here, the outstanding share capital is 200,000 and 300,000, okay? So class, we have to know how much of this, uh, of the 260,000 will go to the preferred share and how much will go to ordinary share, okay? So we can compute the book value. So let us now distribute the retained earnings. So the retained earnings is 260,000. Okay, so first, non-cumulative, non-participating. So non-cumulative, we are going to give 12% to preferred shares. So 12% of 200,000 will give you, we have computed that, 24,000. Okay, so in this case, we the remainder goes to ordinary shares. So 260 minus 24, 236,000. So now the remainder of 236,000, since it is non-participating, will go, everything will go to ordinary share. So now the, the, we will get the value, the book value of the, of each, of each type of share, the preferred share and ordinary share. So we will add the outstanding share capital plus the share on the retained earnings. So the total of that is 224,000. That will be the book value. And for ordinary share, it's 300,000 plus the 236,000. That will be the book value. 
uh, the difference from the getting the dividend per share we are just concerned about the dividends okay but here we are concerned about the book value of the shares so to get the book value per share we will just divide it by the outstanding shares so in this case 224,000 divided by 2,000 will give you 112 and here 536,000 divided by 3,000 will give you 178.67 okay so let us discuss the second case which is non-cumulative participating non-cumulative participating again let us have the, the given information okay so here the balance is 500,000 oh by the way take note class that uh, make sure that the total balance that the total of your book value will be the same with the uh, original uh, stockholders equity yes, because you just have distributed the retained earnings to uh, the type of shares okay so here you all have you also have a 760,000 total so let's go back in case two so our total is 500,000 plus we will add the retained earnings of 260,000 so our stockholders equity is total is 760,000 still and we are now going to get the book value so we have to distribute this 260,000 to preferred shares and ordinary shares and our uh, the type of preferred share is non-cumulative participating so for non-cumulative only the current year but take note, uh, part, uh, preferred share will participate on the remainder. So with that, let us give first and the ordinary share, uh, the um, share on the retained earnings. So this 236,000, now the balance after giving 24,000. So we will compute 12% of ordinary share. So based on the outstanding share capital, we are giving 36,000, okay? So that's how it is being computed. Okay, now after that, there is a remainder of 200,000. Uh, now, this 200,000 now will be shared by preferred share and ordinary share based on the um, pro rata based on the share outstanding share capital two fifth for preferred share and three fifth for ordinary share. So, uh, this is 40%. And this is 60%. So 40% of 200,000 will give you 80,000. And 60% of 200,000 will give you 120,000. So now we were able to distribute the whole 260,000 to preferred share and ordinary share. So the book value of the shares are 304,000 for preferred share and 456,000 for ordinary share. And getting the book value per share, we will divide it with the number of outstanding shares. So we have it here, 152, 152. So take note that the book value, um, the total book value is equivalent to the total stockholders' equity. Okay? In case three, we have cumulative and non participating. Hence, these are the information that we have. Okay, so the retained earnings of 260, we will uh, distribute this based on this cumulative non-participating. So cumulative, it means that the preferred share will be entitled uh, for the uh, dividends, back year's dividends for the past two years, okay? So here, the share of preferred share is for three years. So times three will give you 72,000. Okay, so now 260 minus 72,000, the balance is 188,000. Since it is non-participating, so everything will go to ordinary shares because preferred shares will no longer participate. So everything goes to ordinary share. So uh, we will have the book value, 200 plus 72,000, 300 plus 188,000. And we have the same total of our stockholders' equity. 
and then the book value per share divided by the number of shares you will have 136 and here you will have 162.67 okay let us discuss the last uh, case cumulative and participating so again this is what we have okay now the retained earnings of 260,000 will be distributed based on this cumulative participating uh, case okay 12% cumulative so we have to give three years to preferred shares okay and since it is participating we have first to give ordinary share same at 12% so 12% of uh, 300,000 will be 36,000 plus for ordinary share there is no such thing as uh, a prior years uh, dividends okay uh, the ordinary share will only receive dividend if there is a declaration of dividend on that particular year okay so here 36,188 minus 36,000 so there's still a balance of 152,000 since uh, it is participating so both preferred share and ordinary share will share with the balance on the balance so we have here participating based on the ratio so 40% uh, times 152,000 will give you 60,800 and 60% 60 times 152,000 will give you 91,200 okay so add get the book value 200,000 plus 72,000 plus 60,800 you will get 332,800 and then 300,000 plus 36,000 plus 91,200 you will get 427,200 and get the book value per share divided by the total outstanding shares you will have 166.40 for preferred share and 142.40 for ordinary share okay class that's it and that's the end of our uh, discussions for this module and if you have questions please let, let me know stay safe and have a great day bye for now